Hello, I'm Derek Haney from rebrandly.com and I'm going to show you how to use our link retargeting feature to grow your website custom audience and get more traffic to your website. So there's a few things you're going to need in order to do this. First, you're going to need some sort of social account, uh, Facebook or Twitter. Um, it can really be done under any of those channels for sharing. You're also going to want a uh, ad account with one of these companies like Google, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, something like that, uh, because that's uh, really the, the meat of this is we, we put people in this pixel and then we serve them ads, targeted ads at a later time so that they can, uh, they'll, they'll see those ads and they'll be relevant and related to them based on some of the content we shared in the past. So uh, once you've got that, you also are, you'll, you'll want those ads up and running. You, of course, need a rebrandly account, and you're going to need uh, some curated content. And you're going to need your Facebook custom audience pixel or your uh, AdWords, or your, sorry, your Google remarketing pixel or something like that. So let's get into it, and it'll become a little bit more clear. So let's say I'm going to go to a uh, piece of content I happen to have written here for Social Media Examiner. And I want to uh, send people to this post, but I don't want to just lose them forever. I want them to come back to my website. And uh, I want to find them, you know, after they go to Social Media Examiner, uh, maybe they'll go to Facebook later on that day, that week, that month. And then I want to serve them another ad, um, uh, serve them an ad, uh, kind of targeting them back to my website. So this is a great way, super, super powerful tool to do, to do that. So I'll uh, share this under something like noteworthy.xyz. As you can see, I've already done it in the past. We can call it Social Media Examiner. Now, here's uh, you know guest post or whatever it is. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. Now, we go into our retargeting pixel. You can see I've already created a saved pixel here, so I could just click on that and do it, but I'll show you how to create a new one right now. So we're going to hit Create New Retargeting Pixel. I would, again, uh, name it you know Rebrandly Facebook Pixel, uh, specific to my account. Now we need to go over to our ads manager inside Facebook. So if you haven't set this up, you're going to need another video where, uh, where you learn how to set up Facebook advertising and Facebook remarketing. Assuming that you've already got that running, as you should, as a great marketer, all great marketers should have this up and running in their account. You're going to log into the account, find the right page, and, and then under all tools, you'll go to pixels. We're already here. Right, under pixels, uh, we've already created a pixel because it's up and running on our site right now. You can see the kind of activity we get from it. And then we can just do view pixel code and we can grab copy code to clipboard here. Then we can go back over to our post and we can paste it in there. And that's all we have to do, hit the create button and add, that'll add this basically to the link. You'd hit save for the link. You could also add in your UTMs and all those other features, the important features there. If you wanted, copy it to the clipboard, and boom, you can go off to Facebook. We can share this post here. Wait for a second, let's post this as Rebrandly. You can see there's a little loading issue here, but we could do something like check out our latest guest post from Social Media Examiner. And then we can add a photo from, uh, we could save this photo here to our desktop. Wait for it to download. Click here, create a photo of carousel, uh, upload photos. And here we have the post and we could, you know, we could say we're with Derek Haney since he published it, but we can also leave that blank. We could say we're with Michael Stelzner because he's the host of the show, Emily Kroom and all the great people uh, and Lisa over there that, that helped us get that post published. Then we can hit the publish button. Let's go ahead and publish this post. And there you have it. We have this post here with a custom image and our link. Anybody that clicks this link here uh, will automatically be hit briefly to, and you didn't even see it there, to an intermediary page where it does fire off the our, uh, your custom pixel and basically tags that person so that you can then serve them ads later. So serving them ads later, the first things you should recognize about that is that these people are gonna come in under conversions.clickmeter.com. So you can see that there are, this is how many people that I've pixeled with this in the last seven days using this strategy. 
And if you wanted to, you could segment this audience as a custom audience in Facebook and only serve these people targeted ads. But what we typically do with an audience of this size would be to lump it in with all blog traffic or just really all of our traffic and serve everybody that's ever been to our site the same ads. Because if it's a small audience size, it really doesn't make a lot of sense to make custom ads just for them. But if you're doing a lot of traffic, then yes, you can just filter out conversions.clickmeter.com. Then you might go over into your uh, ads manager and create or run some uh, retargeting ads. You can see we're already running some ourselves. Uh, maybe you're even uh, getting some of these hit to you if you've been to our website. So, uh, so the retargeting ads are up and running. People will automatically be added to the pixel and these ads will automatically be served to them at a later time. Um, you know, and I can continue to do this with other blog posts that I've, I've published. Um, also, we could even use a tool like Meet Edgar to add this content into a content recycler. We could use Buffer, we could do a bunch of other things. We can post in here, put the image up, put it under the Rebrandly account. It goes out every three days, every five days, whatever it is. And anybody that clicks on it is getting added to our retargeting pixel. This is a great, great way to grow your audience, um, your Facebook audience, custom audiences off the backbone of your social media marketing efforts and therefore grow traffic and, and increase the size of your blog following. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, to, down, to get this free tool from Rebrandly right now, visit rebrandly.com. And uh, I really hope that you use link retargeting to blow up your business uh, because it, it is quite a game changer.